Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. As you can tell by the title, today's video is going to be a fall inspired makeup look, pumpkin spice more like. And I'm really excited to do this makeup look because I haven't done a makeup look in a while. So yeah, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and let's get on into this tutorial. This is the weird sitting down. I haven't sat down and like filmed a tutorial in such a long time, so yeah. But I'm excited. Um, I think I'm going to start with my eyebrows. I always start with my eyebrows just because like my eyebrows, I don't know. I just always start with them because I feel like it really frames my makeup look like what I'm doing. I think I'm going to use is the NYX The Brow Glue. Looks like this. And I like to use this just to like slick down my hair. I got my brows um, laminated a couple weeks ago, or not a couple weeks ago, like a couple months ago to be honest. And I really like them. Um, she did a lamination and wax and tint and that came out really, really good. And I really want to go back again, but I saw that you're not supposed to go like all the time to get your brows laminated because your hairs could fall out because... It's kind of like getting a perm on your eyebrows. <laughs> I don't know how to explain that, but it was really a nice experience. The girl that I go to, she's so sweet. Her name is Shania at, I forget what the place is called. I think it's called like Skin Aesthetics or something here in Safford. So she did a really good job. Um, I think like once I'm ready to go back to get my brows laminated, I'm going to do that for sure. So I'm just going to lay down my hair with the back. I'm doing laundry, so if you hear my washer or my dryer going, that's what that is. So I'm home alone right now. It's like super quiet, so I like need something going on. Because Austin and Buggy are in school. Austin started school um, yesterday. So it has been like, it's so sad. It's like so bittersweet because like, I'm obviously excited for him to start school. But at the same time, I'm just like so sad because he's my last baby. And I was just having like an emotional day yesterday. And I vlogged it. So you guys are probably going to see um, like how emotional I was and I was like all day I picked him up and like all day I was still like emotional I was just like holding him and <sighs> it was just one of those days I think the exact same thing happened when Buggy went to school um so yeah but right now he's just like in preschool but we got him started early just so that way he can get a little bit more social to be um, in like a social setting because him and his sister are like pretty far in age so um, they don't really play with each other like they don't really hang out and stuff so me and Dallas have to constantly like entertain Austin and it would be nice for him to be around kids, so that's kind of why we did it. But I hope everyone's doing good. I'm really excited to already get the Halloween over with. <laughs> I had all my fall stuff and I was so excited for, to like decorate for fall. And now I'm so ready to decorate for Christmas. I think just because like the stores have started putting out Christmas decor and I'm like, yay. Let's go put in the Christmas tree. But I need to like look at all my stuff that are in storage to figure out like what I need or what I need, but like what I want to get. But I don't think I'm going to do Vlogmas this year. Um, I know I've attempted to do Vlogmas for the past two years and failed. Like, I think the longest I went was like day 19, 18, something. But this year, I'm not going to put so much pressure on myself to like vlog every single day. But I am going to vlog a lot and try and do sit down videos. And also wanted to do like some Christmas makeup looks, some Christmas outfit ideas and things like that. And also like some vlogs. But I'm definitely going to be doing my Decorate With Me Christmas 
edition like I always do. So I'm definitely looking forward to that. That's something that I'm really excited for. I've already started watching vlogs that people are doing Christmas hauls already. Yeah, I feel like I'm I'm just rambling so much just because I feel like I haven't chatted with you guys in a long time and I haven't really been caught up with anything. So sorry if my conversation is all over the place. I really like this. This is the Beauty Creations Neutral Eye Primer and it's a really good one especially if you do like a lot of different like um different like effect makeup this is really perfect they also have it in a lot of shades and they also have these in colors too so today we are going to be using the bare necessities by colourpop colourpop sponsored a video last year um i believe during christmas time Oops, sorry I believe during Christmas time and they sent me a bunch of goodies to use in that video and this was one of them. Today's video is not sponsored by them. I just want to share that because it's a, like a very proud moment for me and yeah. So this is the palette that I'm going to be using. It's really pretty. Um, where are my brushes? I thought I put them right here. Oh, I did. So the first shade that I'm going to go into, because like I said, I'm doing a fall inspired like pumpkin spice look. So I'm going to be starting off with a transition color. So I'm going to use that one and I'm using it on a Morphe E27 brush. This is my favorite brush ever. I don't even think Morphe is like a business anymore. I'm going to be blending this all over my lid, really buffing out that shade. The key to having a really good transition color is having a really good blending brush. Um, I have this one, which is a really good one. It's also like a dough. It's also like a very like fluffy tip. This one I think is from Bloodline Beauty. This one is a smaller version of this, but this one's really good to like pack on like the end colors or the center colors. And this one is a, this one is a Sigma brush. And I think this one I just got like, Oh no, this one's just, these two are both Sigma brushes. So they're really good. You just need like a really good fluffy brush. Um, and nowadays, like makeup companies come out with really nice brush sets that come out with amazing blending brushes. So they're not hard to find like they used to be. I feel like a couple of years ago, blending brushes, like you had to use like the Sigma something brush or like a Morphe brush or something. But like now makeup brands come out with really, really good brushes. A lot of the small indigenous makeup brands also come out with really good brush sets. So you should definitely check those out. I will leave a few of um, indigenous brand own makeup companies in the description. So you guys can definitely go check that out and check out their their products. So yeah, let's just blend this on in because you see how like this is blended pretty well and I don't need it to be like super bright or anything. I just need it to be able to um, blend in with the next shade that I'm going to use. shade that I'm going to go into is this shade right here. So it's kind of like an orangey red color and I'm picking up like a lot and I'm just going to be pressing that in the middle because I want that to be kind of like the main color. I'm going to go in with the brush I had earlier and just kind of diffuse the end. So it's not looking so harsh. I'm gonna use this eyeliner. It's by She Glam. Um, it's a really good one. I need to be close up to the mirror, so I'm gonna pick up a little powder, a little powder brush, but I'm just going to apply. I like to start in the middle. I 
Okay, so there's one wing. So now we are gonna move on to lashes. These are just sample lashes that I got last year. Um, it's a long story. So I'm gonna apply a lash glue. The lash glue that I'm using is the Lash Contour. I get these at Walgreens. It's like the best lash glue ever. I like to apply my lash glue on top of my eyelid. This probably will not work the best if you have like hooded eyes. Um, just because when you look up, it'll probably like get everywhere. What time is it? Okay, I still have time. Austin only goes to school for a little bit, so I have a little bit of time to like finish up. See how easy it applies when you lay it down on your um, eyelid? So now we're going to move on to the face. I'm going to be using two different primers. I'm using the e.l.f. Power Grip Primer, which I need a new one because it's like what's left. And then I'm going to be using the Believe Beauty Pretty and Prime Stay Put Primer. This is a mattifying primer. So I'm just going to apply this one first all over my face. And this is a really good primer to help your makeup stick and last longer. And then this one is going to help your face not get so oily. Because I get really oily. But as the weather changes, I probably will start getting more dry. But for right now, my skin is still pretty oily. So, so for foundation, I'm using the house labs um or is it how, how do you say it it's h-a-u-s it's like the lady gaga brand but i'm using this one and i'm in the shade 300 medium neutral this is a really really good foundation and i have always bought foundation that are like with a golden undertone and recently i've noticed that I should have been buying neutral this entire time because I have really pink, like my face gets really pink. So I definitely need like neutral. So this is a really, really good foundation. You see how like it just covered up all my redness? It's really, really good. So now we are gonna move on to concealer. I'm using this Believe Beauty Concealer. Again, this is the Dollar General brand concealer. It's actually really good. I tried the foundation as well. Um, I just think the foundation for me is a little bit too oilier than I would like. Like it makes me like get greasy really fast. So not really a fan of it, but if you have like dry skin, that foundation will be really good because it lays down so flawless. But oh, man, after like an hour, I am a grease ball. So it's like not even, I cannot deal with that one. But it is a really beautiful foundation. Like the finish is very beautiful. I just can't wear it. That's all. Probably during the winter. I've not tried it during the winter. Because I bought it over the summertime when I was like trying out different foundations. Which is honestly like the worst time to try out foundations because summer was so hot. It's still kind of hot outside. I think that's why I'm just kind of like not so much in like the fall mood as much as I thought I was. Because it's just so hot still. Like I'm ready for it to be. Oh, there's a hair shoot there's a hair i use the maybelline fit me loose face powder and i use the light shade like the um what is this light medium underneath my eyes just because i like that brightening effect so i'm gonna be doing that underneath my eyes just kind of like the areas that i highlighted that's where i'm going to be applying this and i'm just using it on a little puffer but i'm gonna apply the medium like all over 
all over the rest of my face. And the bronzer palette and blush palette I'm going to be using is Indigenous Sisters. This hands down eats every single time. I love this bronzer and then these two blushes. So I'm going to use this bronzer. <sighs> I don't know really what's going on with the brand right now because I was actually going to order like a palette and I noticed that she hasn't uploaded anything in a long time. So I'm really hoping that everything is okay. I know that running a business, um, especially a small business when you're funding it yourself, is a lot of work. So I hope that she's doing okay. And I hope she comes back with more product because her product is really good. This is like my favorite bronzer. And I'm gonna mix these two, like I said. Highlighter, I'm going to be using the MAC Whisper of Guilt Highlighter. This is my holy grail highlighter. Love this highlighter. It is so good. They, I don't know if they'll be coming out with it this year, but they like sporadically sprinkle it on and off here and there. Um, it's a discontinued product. Like they don't sell it anymore, but it is really really good so sometimes like during the holidays especially they would launch it again and it's it's always good it's like a golden i don't know how to explain it it's almost like a golden undertone but it's so pretty it's like my favorite i don't put highlighter on my cheeks like a lot of people do just because i have textured skin and adding highlighter just emphasizes it so I like to keep my cheeks pretty matte and just apply it at places that complement my face. Now moving on to lips, I'm going to use NYX Nutmeg. This is a really, really beautiful lip liner for fall or just like any time. It's so pretty. It's like a really dark, or not really so dark, but it's a nice brown. And it's really pigmented, like it just glides on with the MAC in the shade Sweet Deal. It's a really pretty shade. Do lip gloss. I'm going to use um, the Bloodline Beauty Unicorn Babe. This is a really good shade. All right, so this is the finished makeup look. I really hope that you guys enjoyed today's makeup tutorial. I haven't done a makeup look in such a long time, so I'm really excited to do more if you guys would like to see that. Definitely give this video a thumbs up. It helps me out a lot. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!